today we are going to be looking at collisions so let's have a look at this example question we have two masses which collide with opposite velocities as shown in the diagram so we have a 10 kilogram mass which is moving to the right and a 16 kilogram mass which is moving at 20 meters per second to the left now after the collisions the two objects stick together so this is actually an example of an inelastic collision there will be a total mass of 26 kilograms and our job is to determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant velocity this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt this question now in order to solve this we will need to use the principle of conservation of linear momentum which says that the total momentum in any given system remains unchanged unless there is some external force acting on it in practice this would mean that our total momentum so let's just write this down our total momentum before the collision it's going to say before will be equal to our total momentum after the collision be equal to our total momentum after the collision now our total momentum before will be the sum of the momentums of object a and object b so let's say that this will be equal to ma times va plus the mass of object b times the velocity of object B. Now this will be equal to our total momentum. Now remember straight after the collision those two objects are now one object. So this will be equal to the mass of one of the objects plus the mass of the other object times some uh, final or some resultant velocity after the collision. I'm just going to call that v now suddenly we have an equation which you know what ma is we know what va is same with mb mb and uh, vb so we only have really one unknown in this equation that we can solve for okay so let's plug in some numbers now for the momentum of uh, object a prior to the collision this will be equal to 10 kilograms times 11 meters per second plus the uh, mass of object B is 16 kilograms however the speed is now going in the opposite direction so um, in this case in this question if something points to uh, to the left we're just going to take this as a negative so it'll be 16 times minus 20 and we're going to set this equal to ma plus mb which is equal to 26 times v now we can directly rearrange for our final uh, speed v which will be equal to 10 times 11 minus 16 times 20 i'll just put the minus sign from the bracket over here and uh, we will need to divide this expression by 26 and if we put this into a calculator we're going to get minus 8.1 meters per second so this is the magnitude of our velocity 8.1 this is the speed the negative sign tells us the direction is the same as this speed over here uh, which is pointing to the left so we can just write this down over here to the left just to be absolutely sure so after those uh, two objects collide the resultant speed is uh, 8.1 like so pointing to the left Okay, folks, so hopefully conservation of linear momentum makes sense. If there are any questions about this problem, please feel free to uh, drop a comment. And thank you very much for watching.